But you should be singing country and western. Bradley, I'm trying to practice for my world singing tour. Stacy, honey, baby, sweetie, cookie, just stick with me, kid. Do you work here? You're fired. We're live at the cereal bowl, and it's an overflow crowd. Yeah, wait, Bradley, I've got the... Trust me, babe, the show must go on. But... Heights. Why? Hey. Trust me, babe. Look down. Ah! What I tell you, it's under control. Now get out of here, Ed. Hey. Hey. Bradley! Here, pick a few ships of water. Trust me, it'll be showtime in no time. Sweetie, honey, cookie, baby, save it for the show. Now get out there. We're gonna be here. <laughs> Stace, let's get this show on the road. Bad news, Bee Man. No more hiccups. Not funny, Stacy. Now come on. I mean it. You can't do this to me. I, I, I got a solo crowd out there. Some of these life forms came from the other side of the universe. Come on, Bradley. We gotta go. No way. They're gonna want their money back. And some of them have ray guns. Hi, Mom. Tough day at work? Uh-huh. I was on my feet all day. Come on, Bradley. Mom needs to recharge her batteries. Thank you, dear. Let's watch the music channel. The screeching earbusters have a new video that's got gravy. Uh-uh. Mom needs a little peace and quiet. So what do you want to do? Well, well, well. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. This isn't Earth. Sharp eyes, Sherlock. Welcome, puny Earth boy. Ah! It's... it's the planet of the girls! Oh, hi, Bradley. Hi, Bradley. Hi. 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 Contagious? No. Unless. Maybe it's some genetically mutated hiccup virus. Catch him! No sign of the great white fright, Captain Mo Bradley. May as well head back to port. Ah, the Frank, what took me leg be out there somewhere. I feel it in me bones. All we need is the right bait. Hey! There isn't a Frank in all the seven seas can resist that cheese pooper. Arr! Arr, you go! Give the flipper! Call up the keel! Heave two! Heave three! Take the patient to my laboratory. <laughs> We must isolate the hiccup virus before it spreads to more innocent people. 
Yes, Dr. Von Stickenbergenstein. <laughs> First, we must remove the pest hiccups. A hiccupectomy. Yes, Dr. Von Cheese and Bacon Burger. <laughs> Smelly henchman. What? Seek them pants. <laughs> Pound you later, Von Dweebenstein. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> we must stop them, Vigo. If they unleash the hiccup, the entire world could be doomed. Cool. Bradley, Stacy, pero ¿qué pasa aquí? Run, Mrs. Salazar! Mutant hiccups are spreading everywhere! Hey, tontito. Estos no son contagiosos, eh? Ahora... ¡Uy! Eh, oh, yeah. ¡Ah! ¡They got Mrs. Salazar! Run! Ah! Too. Bradley, look! Man, that can't be good. Okay, we just gotta load our hiccup bread. And then, we'll rule the whole world! <laughs> yeah, we rule. Pass me the vial. Supposed to throw it, doofus. You said pass. Man, nice going, dude. <laughs> we interrupt our normal programming for a special announcement. A mutant hiccup is on the loose. No one is safe from its hideous zombie power. <laughs> it was last seen heading towards Bingo Beach. <laughs> <laughs> never seen anything like it, Agent Moody. Seems to be some strange form of mass hysteria. Come on, Agent Sui. What we saw can't be explained by normal phenomena. It's gotta be. Don't say it. Aliens. Not this again. Aliens from... Here it comes. From Uranus! Mm. Moldy? Moldy! Moldy, are you all right? Could you 
Would you please explain to me, young lady, what was so important that it couldn't wait until I finished my... Oh, no! The hiccups are coming! They could be in your neighborhood! You could be next! Run! Run for your life! everyone, I'm a giant anteater, and I eat ants. They try running away every time, <laughs> but they don't stand a chance with this tongue. My tongue can be as long as a man's arm, and it's covered in sticky saliva. <laughs> no, they don't stand a chance. I can swallow up to 30,000 ants every day by flicking my tongue in and out very fast. <laughs> Here's an ant's nest in here. Mm, ants are delicious little things. But while I have a really long tongue, I don't have any teeth. And that means I can't chew my food. No, I can't chew. So what do you think I do? I swallow pebbles. Pebbles help me to crush the ants inside my tummy. We only feed on a nest for a short while because we don't like to destroy it. No, we don't like to destroy it. Ants are great. As well as giving me food, I get lots of water from the ants I eat. That means I don't really need to drink. So for me, water's not for drinking. It's for fun. We ant eaters love swimming. And after swimming, we like to go to sleep. We sleep out in the open and we use our tails as covers. We sleep up to 15 hours a day because eating nothing but ants all the time means we don't have a huge amount of energy. <sighs> no, we don't. Oh, ants. Meet Stella. Ooh. There she is. And her little brother, Sam. And join them as she guides him into a world full of adventures and imagination. Stella and Sam, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. <laughs> Everything! <laughs> Who are you? I'm mad! I'm what you feel like when you're really mad and yelling. Go away! What's making you so mad? I want my airplane to be the way it was. Wow! Using your words is really helping! He's always breaking things. How do you feel now? I kind of yelled at him and... Now I feel bad. Look, because you learned how to control your mad feelings, I'm almost all gone. Hmm. What's going on in here? Well, Max broke my plane, but he didn't mean to do it. You want to help me fix it? The Mother Company. I kind of like it up here. Great view, you know. I think I'll just... An abominable leader, Hosen! Now that's more like it. Oh, man! Rope burn! Yow! Ooh, hot, hot, hot! Ow, ow, ow! A little rope burn's nothing to cry about, Bradley. You know my motto. No pain, no gain. But all we ever gain is more pain. <laughs> you just earned yourself a little corporal punishment, Private. Wind sprints, coast to coast, give me ten. Yes, sir. Not bad. If you were a three-legged turtle, now hustle. Beer. I'm gonna show him. Let the 
this be a lesson to you, Bradley? When the leader hosen gets tough, it's time to wake up and smell the gym socks. Oh yeah? Well maybe it's time for the Bradley to get tough. Move it, B-Man. We've got a school assembly this period, remember? I'll be right there. Whoa! Ooh, what took you so long? You'll see. <clears throat> so nice to see you all. As you know, it is fitness week here at Middle Stick Elementary. And so, who better to address our assembly on this important topic than our esteemed gymnastics instructor, Mr. Lederhosen? Not in front of the whole school. <laughs> Uh, in honor of the uh, week, I'm here to to you uh, about the importance of regular and a healthy. <laughs> if I ever find out who did this, uh, I'll. <laughs> Somebody whoopee cushion Lederhosen's shoes! Welcome to Sticklertainment tonight! The reviews are in, and the controversial Mr. Lederhosen is a huge hit! <laughs> Two thumbs up! I laughed, I cried, I was laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> what? This joke is definitely a blockbuster. I assure you, Coach Lederhosen, I shall personally track down the perpetrator and deal with him myself. Just be sure you leave a few crumbs for me. Boy, I sure wouldn't want to be him. Who? Whoever did it. In fact, I wouldn't even want to be his best friend. You mean, you know? Know what? Not what. Who? Who, who? You know who. Who? I do? I don't know. But if you do know who, I want to know you know. You know? <clears throat> what do you know, Miss Stickler? Nothing. Daisy doesn't know anything, Mr. Coffin. I believe Miss Stickler knows a great deal, Bradley. And she can certainly speak for herself in my office. Yes, sir. You wouldn't squeal, would you, Stace? Me? Do I look like a squealer, Bradley? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. That's funny. You don't look dead. I do. Dead guys usually got their tongues hanging out, and they got those little axes for eyes, and their arms and legs are all over the place. Hey, Scrabby. What's with Stacy and Miss Goody Two Shoes going into Coffin's office? Yeah, Two Shoes. She knows who put the whoopee cushions in Mr. Lederhosen's shoes. I think. Cool. Torture time. Did you say torture? Yeah. She won't last two seconds in Coffin's dungeon of horrors. Yeah, horrors. Yeah! Right this way, please! Now, remember, you gotta stay with the tour group at all times, okay? You never know what might happen. So just stay with the group! All right, all right. You just gotta find Stacy before she squeals. Forget it, Bradley. Coffin probably broke her with the fanny whack. Any whacker? Yeah, man. <laughs> What's it look like? 
I'm a goner, Bradley. I gotta know. Did you? You know, tell who put the whoopee cushions in Mr. Lederhosen's shoes? Of course not. Whew. Thanks, Stace. You're the best pal ever. Huh? I mean, you were. At least, I don't think I told him. It's hard to remember since my memory was cut short. Maybe there's still time to get Stacy out of there in one piece. This looks like a job for... Bradley Moonwalker! Come on, Dill. You can be my wingnut. Hey! Don't you mean a wingnut? Whatever. Set course for the... Close. Here it is. Torture devices of ultimate doom. Level two. Let's go. Wedgie time, dweeb walker. Yeah, supersonic wedgie. Take the princess for me. I'll hold them off. Oh, Richard, you'll get. Ah! Oh man, wedgie did the line of duty. <laughs> Oh no! I'm too late! <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. Princess Screamer. And now you're going to scream the name of the Whoopee Cushion Cat. Don't say it, Stace! I'm coming to the rescue! Oh no! What's this? Some strange alien force field! Excuse me, you're getting nose prints on our force field. Bradley, I said you're smudging the glass. Did you want to speak to Principal Coffin? No! I... uh... <gasps> Stace! Alright, tell, tell. His name is... His name is... His name is... Ah! I can't take it anymore! It was me! Bradley! I did it! I'm the one who put the whoopee cushions in Mr. Lederhosen's gym shoes! Well, then. Here's your student visit award, Miss Stickler. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Mr. Coffin. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Lederhosen, there's someone in my office who'd like to speak with you. Ah! And all along I figured it was Russell. Oh, man.
At Southern New Hampshire University, we're committed to making college more accessible by making it more affordable. That's why we're keeping our tuition the same for all online and campus programs through the year 2021. I knew SNHU was the place for me when I saw how affordable it was. I ran to my husband with my computer and I said, look, we can do this. Take advantage of some of the lowest online tuition rates in the nation. Find your degree at snhu.edu. Hi, I'm Ruby from Ruby Studio. Have you ever wondered where feelings come from and why we have so many of them? Let's find out. Feelings are like what your mood is. You feel feelings in your body. If they have a mean face on their look, that probably means they're angry or disappointed. And if they have like a smile on their face, that probably means they're happy or joyful. I think feelings are important because you get to express yourself how you feel. It's very important to let your feelings out. Isn't it amazing that we have so many different feelings? And they change all day long. Thanks for watching. See you soon at Ruby Studio. The Mother Company. Dragon because they don't get eaten. 